I am your host, Debbie, here to help you get in the know about Waco. This week, I'm going to be talking about some upcoming events with John D. Jungalo, and we have a special guest in the studio. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Cassie Robertson, and I am the owner and operator of the John T. Jungalo. Awesome. Now tell me what brought you to Waco or if you're a Waco native. Uh, I came to Waco in 2018. I was in the Army stationed at Fort Hood, and I got out in 2017, and we were just really looking to get away from the Colleen area, and Waco seemed like a close transition, but also an improvement. Wow, yeah, and now tell me a little bit about you, and um, I want to know how you got the name, John T. Jungalo. Okay, so that's a common question, actually. <laughs> um, I am a 100% disabled veteran, and I've been out of the work field be- due to my disability for a while now, so I kind of was just sitting around trying to think of a way that I could get back into working and interacting with the community um, in a less demanding way than a 9-to-5 job. Mm-hmm. Yes, of course. Um, <laughs> So I uh, came up with the idea to blend two of my passions, plants and um, all aspects of healing. So I came up with the name the Jaunty Junglo because the word jaunty means lively and happy and joyful, which is a pretty clear description of my personality. And then Junglo is just a really cute play on jungle and bungalow, which is a type of home. Yes, so it really just means like a lively, joyful home. Full of plants. That is adorable. Yeah. Now tell me about your background and how you got interested in what you do now. So I was a medic in the Army uh, for seven years, and I really developed a pretty intense passion for helping other people and healing other people. Um, I originally was studying biology with an emphasis on pre-med, hoping to get into PA school and kind of pursue that type of a career. But physically, that just wasn't something that my body was willing to handle any longer, so I had to kind of step back and slow things down a little bit. Um, I got pulled into the spiritual side through tarot and and Reiki and other forms of energy healing, and I kind of just picked that up and ran with it. I saw um, a a niche that I could fit into where I was still helping the community and healing people, and it was just uh, much less physically demanding, so um, it fit perfectly, worked out perfectly for me. Yeah, and how long have you been doing this now? I have been doing it for, what year is this, 2021? Um, I guess it's been about three years now. I got my Reiki certification um, pretty quickly after I got out of the Army, um, just kind of on a whim. Um, I didn't put it to use for a little while, though, because I felt like I needed to really um, research and learn a lot more about what went into it and experience more of it myself before I started applying it to other people. Um, So I've been actively practicing energy healing for the community for about a I guess it's been almost a year. Wow. Yeah. Happy anniversary. Thank you. And then um, tell me, I know you have seven years of EMT training. So tell me how that goes together. Yeah, so it actually works out really nice when I'm doing the energy healing because I have a, um, a pretty good base knowledge of bodily functions and anatomy and how um, our body functions on a cellular level. So when I'm doing the visualizations and guiding the energy and... Um, intuitively understanding what's happening in another person, it helps to know, um, like, how all of that actually works together, you know. Um, It's hard to explain. (laughs) No, I completely understand. Um, So tell me how your interest got into tarot and got into, um, like, the, I know you're doing a mood water um, event. Tell me a little bit about that. Uh, So, yeah, one thing just kind of led to another, um, and as I started exploring all of the different genres of spirituality, um, a lot of the, I guess it falls under like the Wiccan, like witchcraft, those are two separate things, um, paganism type specter with the, with the moon phases and the full moon and really harnessing the energy that comes off of the full moon, and I just felt super drawn to that. I don't necessarily consider myself to be a witch. Um, I'm not in a coven or anything like that. I don't prescribe to any particular religion, but I do absolutely love basically anything connected to the moon. Um, so... I get such a huge benefit off of all of those types of things that I thought that it would be a really great idea to kind of just offer that information to the community to be able to come and, you know, experiment on their own. And I teamed up with Kylie from Skellington Curiosities. Shout out. Uh, Yes, absolutely. Amazing (laughs) human being. Like, I love her so much. And she was totally on board with hosting the class and all kinds of other classes. And, yeah, I think it's just going to be a great event. 
All right, now tell me about your upcoming events. First off, we're going to start with the tarot event happening on January 16th. Yes, okay, so Saturday um, from 6 to 8 p.m. at Skellington Curiosities, we have the Beginner's Guide to Tarot. That class is actually full already, so we're basically just going to be bringing in people who are interested in learning how to read cards for themselves um, and telling them, you know, how to introduce their decks and cleanse their decks, proper storage, proper usage, the types of questions that they can be asking, how to get the best benefit from their tarot decks, essentially. We'll be working with the Rider Waite deck, which is the traditional tarot deck. Um, we'll do a little bit of history, but everybody's not super keen on the history of tarot, so that'll be quick. Um, and then really just kind of showing people how to intuitively interpret their cards, less focus on memorization. I feel like people get hung up a little bit on thinking that they have to memorize the meaning of mm -hmm. each card. Major and minor are kind of yeah. so hard. You, you don't have to memorize, you know, the, the just Google it. You, <laughs> that's true. You can, you can Google it. You can do, you can definitely Google it. Um, but really, if you just look at the imagery and describe what you're seeing, that's, that in itself is the meaning of the card. The symbolism is a direct interpretation of the meaning. Um, so that's kind of, that'll be the main focus of that class. Um, and then what's next? Well, up next is the um, moon water class happening on January 28th. Yes, the full moon water class. So this is going to be um, a really cool class. First of all, it's the full moon that night. The wolf moon will be um, on the 28th, so you can come to the class. And we're going to provide all of the supplies, even the water. We'll have uh, filtered water for anyone that's interested in making tea out of their moon water. And then we're going to have some rain water that we collected. And thanks to the magical snowfall that we had on Sunday, we will also have some snow water. So um, we'll have the glasses, the glass jars there. Um, we'll have lots of embellishments and things to decorate the jars, and then we'll just kind of go through like all of the different benefits, usages, all of that. And then that night, everyone can take their little jar of water home, set it out under the full moon, get it nice and blessed and charged and ready for use the next day. So adorable. And then the next class that's coming up is the astrology class happening on February 5th. Okay, yeah, this is the class that I'm the most excited for uh, because I absolutely love everything that has to do with astrology, right? Um, and it has such a long history. You know, Galileo was teaching astrology in med school in the 1500s. Like, any physician that went to medical school was required to learn astrology. It was so connected. Um, and I, for one, think that we should bring that back. Not a lot of scientists on board with that, but... We're working to get there. Um, so yeah, we'll just be going over the basics of astrology, the zodiac, each sign, the different elements, the dualities, uh, the symbol, the symbolism, you know, everything that's connected, but in a really basic sense. Um, everybody that's attending the class is going to get a natal chart printout, and then I'll just help everybody kind of go through what all of the stuff in the chart means, because there are so many different um, aspects that go into a natal chart. Your rising and your... Yeah star sign and your moon yes, sign. Yes, and then there's houses yes. and and then there's actual aspects. There's a lot that goes into it. Um, so just kind of a, a really brief breakdown and like a how to get started in understanding all of that stuff. Yeah, and tell me about some of your involvement in park cleanups. I know you just did one on the 10th and tell me about your involvement with yoga in the park. Yes, so we actually had to reschedule the, the cleanup okay. because of the snowfall. Oh, uh, the snow, of course. Yes, I don't. I don't want to complain though because it was such a. <laughs> it ended up being such a beautiful day that I don't even you care. Go play outside yes, anyway. yes, I don't even care that we had to reschedule. But we did reschedule um, for February for that event. So that's going to be in um, collaboration with Keep Waco Beautiful. Ashley over there, she's absolutely amazing. Love them. Shout out. Yes, uh, she's she's going to have all of the supplies and everything, so the volunteers can sign up. Um, at the Keep White Go Beautiful website, they get a free t-shirt and they come out and do the cleanup. And we'll just start that event with a brief meditation, set an intention, you know, we're all here to contribute to Mother Earth, that type of thing. Um, yoga in the Park is going to be absolutely amazing. That's going to be... I'm on, excited for that. Yes. That's going to be on um, January 30th. We're going to do a Saturday event. So typically okay. for the Reconnect with Nature events, we had been doing Sundays. But we are going to move the, to twice a month, one Saturday and one Sunday, just so we can fit more people's schedule. So um, yoga in the park will be at Cameron Park, and we're going to have my friend Tembril as the yoga instructor. She is absolutely amazing. I know I've already said absolutely amazing so many times. <laughs> I say that but, all the time. I always say, oh, that's super awesome. Yes, <laughs> yes that's another one of mine, too. Um, so yeah, yoga, um, Timber will be leading that, and it's going to be a really gentle beginner's yoga, so all levels are welcome, all ages are welcome, bring your kids, bring your grandma, bring your whole family, um, and it's just going to be an outdoor beautiful event, hopefully the Texas weather will, uh, 
play along, play nice with us, and we won't have to reschedule that one also. You never know. It could be 75 or it could be 30. That's all right. You know, it's Texas weather. we got to adjust to it. Now tell me about your event upcoming in April on April 11th. Yes, so this is absolutely exciting. Kylie and I, um, shout out again to Kylie, have just uh, put our heads together and come up with an uh, initiative that we're calling Waco Wellness. And part of that is we have created a new vendor market, which that's like all the rage right now, you know, vendor markets. Um, So this one's going to be a specific holistic and metaphysical theme. And kind of the intention behind it really is just to bring all of the holistic businesses and the metaphysical metaphysical businesses together in the Waco community to promote the alternative healing methods that are available to all of the Waco community. Um, I think a lot of people don't realize how many different options they have outside of what they go to their doctor and see, you know, pharmaceuticals and just all of the mess that kind of goes along with the traditional medicine that we have right now. There are so many different options out there, so we're really looking to fill the space with um, a wide variety. I'm talking acupuncturists, chiropractors, massage therapists, um, energy healers, reflexologists, um, dietitians, herbalists, like anything that you can think of that falls under the wellness category. We are trying to get these people. We've got some really awesome vendors um, signed up already. Um, we've got astrologists. Shout out. Yeah, I mean, um, Tiffany Herlick from Wise Guys Collective. <gasps> she's the one that taught me tarot. Yes, she's going to be uh, setting up a booth. Um, she'll have a representative out. And she's also teaching three classes at MCC this year. I don't know if you... Wow, I did not know that. Yeah, so they MCC, wow, way to go MCC. They have uh, three classes on their um, registration I don't know what the official terms are for that, (laughs) Um, available to take in the spring semester, but it's Psychic Development, uh, Material 101, and Astrology 101 class. And Tiffany was teaching that when I was in college. I'm telling you. I know. I'm going to see my biology professors up there, and I'm going to be taking these psychic classes, (laughs) and I know they're going to be like, what are you doing? (laughs) Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'm just expanding my uh, science mind, I guess. Yeah. So, yeah, we're going to have all of these amazing vendors. We've got room for up to 60 vendors. We're going to have um, food trucks and live entertainment. We've already got the Heart of Texas Native Flute Circle flute circle lined up um, to inter- uh, play for us. Shout and they're going to be doing some drumming also. Yeah, they're, um, they consider it to be healing music. And when you experience it in person, it really, it really is. I mean, you can feel it resonating in your heart big time just all of the energy that they put into it, the intention and everything. So I'm really excited to see them play. Um, and, yeah, we're going to see which one. I'm trying to find a belly dancer. Ooh. Yeah, so if you know one, send her my way. <laughs> Anyone listening, if you're a belly dancer, hit her up. Yes, please. We need the belly dancers. All right. And then um, go ahead and tell me about some of the other services you offer. I know you do, like, smoke cleansing, uh, Reiki. You do the natal chart breakdown. Tell me a little bit more some of the stuff you offer. Yeah, so um, the services that I have are tarot readings. I love to do tarot readings for people, and people love to get them. Um, I do energy healing. I have a Reiki Level 1 and 2 certification, um, which I do pull a lot of my techniques from Reiki, but I don't do Reiki specific. That's just one branch of energy healing. I kind of um, have a, a more natural, um, I guess you could say earth magic. You could, if you're Holistic. into that. Yes. Yeah. Um, really just kind of pulling on all of the free energy um, and, and channeling it that way. Um, I love doing the, the energy services. That's something that a lot of people in the Waco area are, are starting to get into, which is super exciting. Um, yes, I have smoke cleansings. I do personal smoke cleansing for your body, your aura, and I also do home smoke cleansing. So if you have a space um, or your house, if you've just moved into a new place and you want to get it cleansed and blessed, and come out and do that. Um, I do natal chart analysis, and I also do um, custom kokidamas and terrarium. So kokidama is a Japanese form of potless plant. It's this really cool moss ball with a plant in it, and then you can can suspend it or put it in like a little cute container yeah they're really adorable and they're super easy maintenance too um so i had to start making those on a custom level because my house is full and my husband doesn't want me to <laughs> make any more <laughs> yeah i was gonna say tell me more about reiki plants that's yes. coming soon right yes yeah, so all of the plants that i sell and give away and bring to the market they're all reiki blessed they've all been made with intention and love um they just get all of them they get tons of love dumped into them. Um, they're all organic. There's never any pesticides um, put on them or insecticides. Um, they all have high quality uh, bonsai blend soil. So they're just very, very nice.
nice plants to bring into your home or your space and kind of fill the space up with all of the love that is residing within them. Yeah, and of course, and then there's plants, of course, that help with air purification yep. and just, you know, bringing a whole new atmosphere to your environment. Yeah, and to your own mental health, too. You know, 2020 saw a huge, huge spike in, in houseplant lovers and people, you know, and bringing cats. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, cats and plants. I think TikTok had a big yeah. <laughs> a big thing to do with that, though. I may have spent a little too much time on TikTok. Yeah, um, t- it started. started <laughs> May, uh, I think it said um, March 17th was my first day on TikTok, and I was like, that makes sense. Oh, wow. St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. All right. And then um, tell me a little bit of what you'd see more from Waco or what you would like to see from Waco, not necessarily in this field, but just in general. Um, so I am pretty excited about this community trend that's happening in Waco right now, and I would love to you know, see that being built upon just all of these different types of people and, you know, we're kind of coming out of this age of people being in cliques where, you know, they didn't really venture too far outside of their own social circle and, you know, meeting new people. But I, I don't know what happened over 2020, but um, I guess the, the social distancing and the isolation, I don't know. Kind of pe- now that people are venturing back out, they're they're ready to meet new people and get in new circles and discover new things. And everybody is, like, really big into building up the community right now and just supporting each other and bringing everybody together. And, man, I am so on board with that. Like, I – that is – a big part of of what I'm doing and you know why it's important to me is is really building the community and, and making people understand how important it is to have that kind of support system in your local community so I'm pretty excited for that just to see Waco grow on a more emotional and spiritual level of course and that goes into a great like uh, a community that we're growing um speaking about community is there anyone you want to shout out uh yes okay so i have a long list of shout outs okay let's go okay so kylie and sean skellington from skellington curiosities of course they've made all of my dreams come true they're absolutely amazing people they're definitely into the community support mission you know they bring all of these vendors together with their market and inside of their shop and they're really pushing the boundaries of um you know stereotypes and and kind of you know blending those different genres of people and um, just kind of the glue that's holding everybody together, and I love them. Okay. Shout out to Sean's new art competition that's coming yes, up. Yes, yes. So excited for that. Yeah, okay. Uh, absolutely. They're just always doing new <laughs> stuff. They're always bringing up all of, of this new stuff for the community. Also, I got to shout out Jillian and Josh at We Grow the Co. Man, if you're looking for, if you are a small business and you are looking to expand your business, uh, marketing, logos, digital media, um, getting the financial and the tax stuff in order, these people can do everything for you and they do it with an actual interest in your company, a human connection. They go above and beyond. Like, I feel like I should have given them so much more money than what I actually gave them. Like, I feel like I ripped them off somehow with everything that they've given me. Um, my business would be, like, flatlined without them, for sure. They <laughs> Love Juliet. Oh, man, yeah, They're absolutely amazing. Um, and now my brain went flat, and I can't think of it. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> I was going to show you your grandma, your husband? Um, yeah, my husband, for sure. My whole family, actually, because I've been a little bit MIA as I've been growing my business, so they've kind of been having to make their own dinner. Know how that goes. Clean up, <laughs> yeah. I haven't been home as much as I could have been. Um helping out with things around there, so my husband's been a lifesaver, and my kids are, like, old. They're 18 and 13, so they pretty much do their own thing, but I'm sure they still would like to have dinner every night. <laughs> <laughs> and also, shout out to my grandma just for being a BA. Yeah. Shout out. Yes, I love her. All right, awesome, and now go ahead and plug yourself. Tell me where we can find you. Tell me how you can get involved. Awesome. Okay, so I have Facebook. Um, it's just at John T. Jungalo. Same for the Instagram. I've got my website that Julian and Josh designed. It's the com. You can find all of my events on there. The Holistic Fair has its own little tab if you'd like to sign up as a vendor on there. Um, all of the events are listed on the Facebook page, so you can find all of that on there. And I think that's about it. I have like a Yelp if you want to go leave me a, a Yelp review. Leave a review. you got to put something in the caption so they know it's from my podcast. Yeah, and they Yelp always deletes my review. <laughs> I don't know. I have five reviews on there, and Yelp keeps hiding them because they keep saying that they're not specific to my business. And I'm like, I don't know. I don't understand what that means. <laughs> but I have a business, uh, Google business page, too. So, so shout her out. Yeah, do that. Yes. <laughs> All right. Is there anything else that you'd like to share with us today? Uh, I'm saying just thanks for having me on. I was super excited. Of I love course. your podcast. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Okay, bye. Thank you for tuning into this week's podcast. This is your host, Debbie, signing off. Now that you know, go. Just go, Waco. This has been Rogue Media Network Podcast.
Frozen, Frozen, heroes. Gonna tell you about Frozen, Frozen, heroes. Gonna tell you about. Hey, I'm Zach. And I'm Mike. And we have a fantastic new podcast to tell you about Bros, Foes, and Heroes. It's the two of us looking into the world of comics, breaking down some characters that you may have never heard of, and some that are just absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, so Zach comes up with a character each time, and uh, I go into it just completely blind. I don't know who this person is or what their abilities are or anything, and, and basically I guess we kind of go over their origin story and just some of the ridiculous stuff that maybe especially Golden Age stuff. Oh, Golden yeah. Age stuff is always the best, and we will make sure to highlight all of the shenanigans and just absolute weirdness yeah. of everything. Yeah, that's right. So subscribe today and uh, follow us on Instagram at Bros Bros Heroes. And if you don't, I know where you live. Not really, but please subscribe. <laughs> bros and Bros and Heroes Gonna tell you about Bros and Bros and Heroes Gonna tell you about Welcome to One Star Rewind, a new podcast about those dreaded one-star reviews that every business owner hates to receive, but yet every customer loves to read. During this podcast, we will peel back that one-star review to better understand how it happened, when it happened, and what the business owner is doing after receiving that one-star review. This podcast will be about love, hate, and laughter. On One Star Rewind, we will meet with real business owners who will tell their stories and how they do rely on reviews for their business. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, or download us at roguemedianetwork.com. Please subscribe, but only rate and review for not a one-star review. Join us each time for a new review and a new story.